back and i'm beginning to get into my drink that i haven't invited anyone yet maybe i should be giving coffee <laughs> we are so proud of him but i want to ask first why haven't we been able to talk to him all this while since he brought this heavy heavy load home we're simply so proud of kofi akbabli the cnn stroke multi-choice african journalist award oh my god you would not believe it for the second time kofi has retained his award for the arts and culture category and you don't want to go through the script that won him this time i was just going through it this morning i'm virtually inside of the script today we're also going to be seizing the opportunity to talk about this book that was launched earlier by Sule Garibay, if you heard about it. The Sense of Savannah, Tales of a Friendly Walk Through Northern Ghana. That has also been put together by Kofi Akpable, who is right here in the studio with me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine. What prevented you Good to you from see coming? you eventually. Good to see uh -huh. you. Honest <laughs> to see you, Kofi Akpable. We are so proud of you yeah. here in Ghana. Yeah. And I want to believe belong. You did us really, really, really proud. Thank you. Is that it? Would you live it? Yeah. So I could decorate my set with it. Um, I'll think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how's it been that. since you've come back? Yeah, it's it's been good. Qu quiet, actually, mm. because I had to do a quick uh, conference in Sweden. Mm. Um, and then a little malaria also came mm. my way. Mm. But I think I'm back now. Mm. And... Mm. Um, the congratulations are flowing in. I know. Yeah. I mean, of particular interest, again, is the fact that it started for you really humbly, somewhere very far from where you are today. Tell us a bit more about that before we talk about your award that you have brought back to Ghana. Good. Uh, you're talking about Northern Ghana. Right. Uh, here I was, finished university and then um, national service. You know how it is. Um, I chose Eastern Region, and then when it came, I, they added upper to the east <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah so well um, right. i had to go um born bread in accra mm. it was it was quite an ex experience mm. i loved it i was thrown to the border at paga right that was where i started and um, mm. there was even no office mm. and you could sit there and then just see people leaving the country and then coming but i was working with the tourist board so one of the things i had to do was to um administer questionnaires yeah, to right. people coming in, travelers. Mm. And I started talking to people. And um, I just love the, the environment. I yeah. love the baobab tree. I love the, the donkey cart. I love the dawa dawa, the pito. Trust me, I come from the north. I have <laughs> never seen any of those. You, you can travel, you can travel I have through. never seen any of those. <laughs> it's, it's a big embarrassment. Yeah, so, so people, people mm. really, it made me have a comfortable time right. and then I, I couldn't stop talking about it mm. i couldn't stop talking about it and then someone said why don't you start writing about it then i started writing about it so gradually it became journalism because i had to then uh, freelance i had to get uh, proper training in school mm. at the uh, school of journalism right um instead of uh, uh, school of communications that mm -hmm. is legal so that is how the north had impacted me so this book mm. is it's a matter of course mm. it's something that should testify to mm. the fact that we live in a beautiful world mm -hmm. and that we have beautiful stories mm. and that these stories must be told by ourselves mm. and that is why you have decided to put together a very beautiful book i think i should be seizing this copy that has been oh my studio. god <laughs> now let's talk about this award yeah. uh, many guardians uh, some people wouldn't have been very much interested in the book. All they want is to hear Kofi Akbabli because it's back in Ghana. Yeah. He's won that award yeah. for the second time. Yeah. That was just yeah. awesome. Yeah. Did you know you were going to pick it up again? It was a 50-50 thing. Right. In fact, it was, a, it was um, it's rare. Mm -hmm. I mean, the judges, the organizers, you, they let you understand that mm. it's rare. But before we even, before I start talking about the awards, I would like to, with your permission, say a big shout out to South African Airways right. because they were very, very uh, helpful as far as um, my getting to um, South Africa and my stay there was concerned. Gloria Yerenchi and the team, thank you very much. I would say that when I got the second nomination, it, it, it's it's it was like a miracle mm, it mm. was a miracle so then you begin to wonder i mean you just had it i mean no, they're more <laughs> yeah, they're more, just the you understand that because right. um all being equal all mm -hmm. things being equal if you're on a panel and you're deciding among very equal and competent uh articles mm. and then one has just won mm. you understand fresh 
um, you may be tempted to say, okay, let's let him rest for a while. Mm. And then give it to another person. Another person. But in the case where the piece is so striking, and then it gets again. And and here I don't have a permission, but I would like to um, uh, mention the name of my dear sister Portia Solomon of right. TV3. Right, right. Um, I, I think she's she's a brilliant, brave, uh. beautiful girl. Because when it gets to that level, it's not because your material is not good, mm. but because they are very. Well, Portia very, had the nomination as well. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. from Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, Portia we're two had from Ghana. Set. We had it earlier on on the set. Yeah, yeah good, good. We we're two from Ghana. Mm. So it the fact that she didn't come with a, a trophy takes nothing away from her. No, at all. At all. I mean, no doubt about that. Shout out, Portia, Portia is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure she's watching this morning. Good morning to you, Portia. Yeah. If you're watching, we're yeah. still very much proud of you. You yeah. come from Ghana yes. as well. Yes. Now tell me, after this was given to you, what yeah. went through your mind, especially about the piece that you put together that actually won you this? I was just telling you earlier about the piece on Akwetechi. What necessitated it? <laughs> what informed the beautiful piece on yeah. Upon reading it, I mean, <laughs> upon reading it, I think there are just two steps to take, especially when the Achilles were being hit, mm -hmm. either to drink or to abandon and yeah. run away from yeah. it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I, I like writing about things that are ordinary, seem ordinary. But are part of us, are expressive of our Ghanaianness. So what I do is that I take something small and I make something extraordinary out of it. Out of it. That's yeah. what happened to the soup story last year. We mm. all mm. deal with soup, but to think that it could yeah. go, it could be elevated to that yeah. level. So I did that to Apetashi because Apetashi has been with us for a long time. Exactly. And it's one drink that is not advertised. No. It is not. It doesn't even have a label. It doesn't have a bottle. Yet. <laughs> And there are many people who have not even tasted it before. No. But they know about everything it. Everything about it. You understand? Me, I know everything yeah, about but it. Not I mean, it when people drink, they frown <laughs> you and they their chest. Now, now that's what's <laughs> called brand recognition. Exactly. So I started asking myself question. I mean, what is this? What? And why does it wreck homes? Because acquisition has made, I mean, big people useless. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, young people starting up, uh, not taking good care of themselves, following a drink, and then, you know, you know, you know, it's... It's a story that we need to mm -hmm. look at. Yeah. What role is this drink playing in our life? Exactly. What are the quality assurance measures we have to take? So what I did was to put the try to humanize the drink. I made it like a human being, mm -hmm. and then I put it on trial. What is good about? What's bad? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, in, in our law, we will say you are innocent until proven guilty. Guilty. So I didn't say what is wrong with hypertension. I said. What is right? What is right? So let's. Yeah. Let, let, I mean, of particular <laughs> interest also to me was where you tried to measure the alcoholic content yeah. of acquisition, yeah. which has never been highlighted as a matter of yeah. fact. And people do not mix it, unlike the foreign ones like the gin that yeah. would usually contain 42% and stuff and mixed with the, Coke. Then you know, stuff, but, yeah. yeah. But uh, that of acquisition, it's almost, it's, it's like a mystery Damn. because it's so discretionary. The, distiller determines the ratio of what they call the fuse and then the soda you know that that's what gives mm. it the strongness so out there i believe there is a need to do some quality control mm. so that we can know that okay vodka is 42 mm. appetite is x y you understand who knows we don't know so oh. those are the issues <laughs> and and i, I want to believe for some people